This dancer represents the molecular motor HSP-104, a protein that uses ATP as a fuel to break up the types of tangles in cells that, in humans, are implicated in Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, ALS, and other neurodegenerative diseases. In order to perform this untangling work, six of the motors must first come together to form a ring. The shape of the ring is influenced by the binding and hydrolysis of ATP or ATP analogs. Certain ring shapes adopted by the motor can bind peptide, a piece of the tangle the motor must disrupt. How does the motor manipulate the peptide in order to break up a tangle? In this movement, each group of three dancers represents the ring operating on a peptide. The motor might continuously pull on the peptide, repeating the pulling or translocation steps to pull the peptide out of the tangle. The motor might tug the peptide and then release it, binding a new part of the tangle, working in concert with other motors to loosen the tangle so it can fall apart. My dissertation research shows that the motor uses a tug and release mechanism. The motors that are better at untangling peptides work more slowly than less effective motors. for manipulating the peptide could be tuned to the type of tangle the motor has to resolve.
In cells, the untangling power of the motor is boosted by an effector protein, or co-chaperone, represented by the dancers in blue. How does the effector change the mechanism of the motor? Here, the tangle is bound by the motor, represented by the dancers in red. The effector could work directly on the peptide, helping to untangle. or the effector could bind the motor peptide complex. My dissertation research shows that the effector binds the motor, causing release of the peptide so the motor can bind the tangle at another position. What we have learned from this dissertation research may aid in the treatment and prevention of neurodegenerative diseases.